Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about impressively South Korea's first indigenously made 4.5 generation multi-role fighter is advancing on its development timeline without major hiccups. And now it has even entered serial production just this year. Now for the latest news of the aircraft, South Korea gave a go signal to officially order 20 of the aircraft. The manufacturer Kai or Korean Aerospace Industry will immediately start production this year, and South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, or DAPA, says they plan to order additional 20 next year after further verification of the aircraft's performance. According to DAPA, the KF-21 development program is 80% complete, and the plan to purchase 40 KF-21 Block 1 and 80 KF-21 Block 2 for a total of at least 120 aircrafts by 2032. Indonesia, which has 20% stake of the program, also pledged to purchase at least 50 fighters. The KF-21 is the official name of the aircraft, while its designated name during development is KF-X Program. The Block 2 is slated for development from 2026 to 2028, and it'll be added with air-to-ground capabilities and an expanded performance in a multi-role platform. According to DAPA, they plan to have 2,200 test sorties to be flown by 2026 of the aircraft. For the KF-21, it's just a 4.5-generation fighter and not a full-pledged 5th-generation stealth fighter because the KF-21 doesn't feature internal weapon bay. So the aircraft for now is low observable with lower radar cross-section 4.5 generation fighter. But a future full-pledged 5th generation stealth variant of the aircraft is also planned in the future. While the expected unit cost per aircraft is to be around $65 million, the aircraft has an empty weight of 11,800 kilograms. Maximum takeoff weight to 25,400 kilograms. It has 9 to 10 external hardpoints depending on the variant. Maximum speed of Mach 1.8 or 2,222 km per hour. A ferry range of 1,800 miles. Service ceiling to be around 50 to 55,000 feet. For now, Kai is preparing a supply line of 600 domestic companies to speed and steamroll the production of the aircraft. According to them, they have achieved 65% rate of localization for the production of the aircraft. This includes the license to locally produce avionics, radars, and engine of the aircraft from their western counterparts. For example, DAPA recently signed a contract with Hawa System to produce 20 active electronically scanned array radars for 110 billion won or $79 million contract. Hanoi Aerospace also announced that they have secured a 556 billion won or $400 million contract to locally produce 40 American General Electric F414 GE400 engines plus spares for the first batches of KF-21. The first engine is expected to be completed before the end of 2025 and will be produced at their new factory in Changwon. The factory is estimated to have a capacity to manufacture 300 engines annually. The new 30 million facility was broken ground by Hanwha Aerospace in April of this year. 